A lot of people see this stuff and they mistake it for a bear clawing the tree, which they do, but the marks are different. And this is moose doing that, and it's not their antlers, because they've already dropped their antlers already. I'll show you. See these, there's two marks side by side. See, two, two, two more, two more. Those are the two front teeth on their bottom jaw, okay? And you see right here, it's tapered in and then it's broken off on the top. See, see here, it's broken off on the top and cut in smooth on the bottom. That's their two teeth digging in like this and then they peel up with it and then it breaks off. And then they walk away chewing it. But he took a few mouthfuls here on the basswood tree. They, they're like the maples and the basswood. And they do that. See that? See? That's moose, not bear. A bear would be all four clawing downward. So they'd be entering the bark on the top and then broken off on the bottom. And this is just the opposite. It's a little bit more woods lore for you. just did a dump run and the dump here they have this building they call it the mall so when people have stuff that's really too good to throw away but they want to get rid of it they put it in there and it's just this great thing that they have going on where there's always these great finds and I had a lot of stuff here furniture and stuff like that that I didn't want to throw away, but I really didn't want to take the time to do yard sale kind of thing. And we bring it there and put it in just about as fast as you can set it down. Someone's taking it. And it's kind of fun because you leave good stuff and you get good stuff. And it's just a great idea. Like we had found these L.L. Bean style wooden deck chairs that fold up. They're expensive as hell. There was a whole set of them there. And we go, wow, what a find. So we took him and we brought him down to the dock on a lake property. But they leaned back too far and they just really weren't that comfortable to sit in. So we used them for a while and then we brought them back and people were taking them out of our hands. So it was kind of fun, you know. So anyway, we went there today and I find this wool coat. You know, it's a Marlboro coat, but nonetheless, it's a wool coat just to use... When you're doing firewood and whatnot out in the yard when it's hunting season, you know, just another work coat. But the good find for today, these heavy duty tables. Heavy duty, got three of them. There was four, but we didn't want to take them all. So we left, we left one. And uh, we're going to build a garage on the other property. And what great work tables they are, you know? Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, we brought one of them up the mountain in the ranger. Left the other two down on the other property in a vehicle for now. It was a great find. It was a great day. Yeah, I love it. Look at this maple growing out of the birch. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Growing out. And at one time, a little maple seed twirled down, landed in the crack, and it sprouted, and it grew. So this old birch tree here is the host for this maple. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Ah, it's just little stuff you notice when you just take time. I just rush through the woods. All the cool stuff you see, you know? Yeah. Look at this cool tree right here. It's all twisted. 
See that? It's just as if that tree was twisted around. And it corkscrews all the way up. It's twisted right around. Yeah, a cool thing. Yeah. If you look at that, it almost looks like the profile of an animal. See his eye? And then this top of his snout there with the nose and the ch little chin. <laughs> This is a rub, <laughs> not a buck rub either. This is from the moose, rubbing his antlers. He pushed this thing right over. When I saw this, I started looking around for the antlers. Hoped that this is where he pushed them off and shed them, but didn't find anything. That's quite the rub. Very impressive. They're impressive animals, I tell ya. <laughs> Here's another one. See, these are different than the other scrapings that I was showing you. This is broken on the top, but also broken on the bottom. Where the other ones were carved in smooth on the bottom, peeled up and then broken, but this is rubbed. This is the forehead rubbing, rubbing down and rubbing up. Yeah. So that's the antlers doing that, not the teeth like the other things. A white-tailed buck will rub a tree like this too, but it's down here in this section. This was done by the moose. The moose tracks here, and he had a little snack. Yeah. <laughs> All kinds of bunny tracks in here. He must have had a hole in his M&M bag. He's losing all his treats. <laughs> That's all right, I prefer the green ones. Thank you, says I like the brown ones. <laughs> you. What I like the best about ice fishing, there's no ticks, no mosquitoes, <laughs> no poison ivy. <laughs> and you get to have six lines out at one time. So it's fun. Yep. This was summer. I'd be out here swatting at bugs. Probably getting a sunburn. Oh. But beautiful day like today. And the action's good. It's a lot of fun. But it won't be long. We're starting to get open water along the edge of the pond now. It won't be long. The ice will be gone. Oh. But it's good while it's good while it lasted. Yeah. <laughs> That's the perfect eating size right there. Yep. When I get the big ones, I let them go most of the time. Yeah. I love these cleats. Huh? I wouldn't want to be out here without them. All this water on the ice, slippery as hell. <laughs> Freaking bang your head on the ice. <laughs> you get soaked too, falling down. But these things are awesome. Yep. I always wanted to get some ice cleats and I never have. When I saw Lori wearing hers, and uh, I started shopping for some. Now hers were the Catulas. I was really impressed with them, but they were like 70 bucks. So I was shopping for them and I came across these. There's a lot of other knockoffs that look real cheap. Like the chain here just looks like decorative chain on the others. But this is a, 
it's like a twisted loop and the other kind just look like like these links here real cheap kind of thing but these look just like what Lori's got so they were like I don't know $20 19 bucks I figure what the hell I'll take a chance on them <laughs> they're fantastic so far I can't say how long the rubber's gonna last but so far so good be able to run around on the ice out here don't slip at all yeah they're great I had a lot of people been asking about them so I put the link down below but they're uh, Weena W-E-A-N-A -A, Weena brand so far so good yeah this is what Lori's got here see they're very similar mm -hmm. the rubber feels more like silicone on hers than mine but they're very very similar to what I've got see these are the Catulas here and these are the Wieners and these are this is stainless steel and like I said this feels like a little bit more of a silicone type of rubber and these here you can just tell the rubber feels a little bit different but they look a lot alike and these are 70 bucks and these are about 20 so we'll see how long they last and I'll give you a review next year <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end. Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss.